We are in the midst of the second straight home tournament here and, and coach wanted to catch up with you and just kind of get your thoughts on the season so far. It, it seems, you know, it takes a little while for, for the offense to get going, but it seems that you're getting production throughout the entire lineup. Yeah, it's a, uh... It's been a work in progress, you know, being young, and I think some of the older kids trying to step up to some roles that they know they could do, and now they're gaining some confidence in it. And, you know, I think uh, it's probably one of the hardest working teams, you know, from top to bottom, one through 24, and they've really worked for every opportunity. And the situational hitting has been a big thing for us and really getting comfortable with that and knowing our role and what we need to do. And uh, they're coming in off the bench doing a job. They're consistently, you know, one through nine starters doing a job. It's, it's been a lot of fun to see them grow through that. And how about the newcomers? How have they progressed throughout the season? Yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> I think it's so hard to, to come in and, and try to do, uh, you know, what they want to do for the team, you know, and then grow up as a freshman too. So, you know, I think Zoe Cassis has really taken a spot right now and has just been a spark plug for us. Uh, Carson, you know, been a little up and down. Uh, and Megan King is a redshirt freshman right now doing her job in the circle. It's been awesome. And, uh, you know, Callie doing a great job at shortstop. So she'll get her swings going for us for soon. So, um, but, you know, I mean, that's what we knew. We'd be young. We knew we would take some some learning lessons early on and the schedule that we have is going to teach us a lot about mental toughness staying in pitch by pitch and they're doing a good job of that. Speaking of pitch by pitch, your pitchers, uh, every year you have multiple pitchers and it seems like this year you have just the same. How do you assess what you got in the circle? Yeah, you know, I think that uh, we're so lucky that our senior most pitcher, which would be Jessica Burroughs right now, and last year was Lacey Walter, but they just do a really good job of, of knowing that there's a legacy they need to leave and an importance that pitch by pitch for the team. It's not you as a, as a pitcher. you got to be selfless and relentless and really get over the last pitch to be the next pitch for the team. And, and Jessica has done a great job of teaching that to Megan, and it's been really, really cool to see them grow up as a staff. And Tess and Abby are getting that too. And coach, obviously early in the season, but where do you want to see this team grow even more? Uh, well, you know, I, it's 50 more games, you know, it's 40 <laughs> some odd, you know, more games and right. we're going to have the ups and downs. And you know, I think traveling is going to be a big thing for us. Spring break going and traveling and getting to be out at UCLA and playing UCLA and getting to Stanford and seeing some of the West Coast and the pack. That's that's a, a good challenge for us. So just want to grow. We want to, you know, ride the wave together as a team and uh, really see what we can become as a unit. And I, I think the chemistry is awesome and the characters we have on this team, is, it's just, it's awesome. So that's going to grow and make us bond, you know, bond and stronger together. Speaking of waves, the team will be headed out out to the West Coast, but you got plenty more opportunities to see them this weekend before they head out. For Lonnie Alameda, I'm Jonathan Schlacey.